Photosynthesis, a word that almost all of us remember from our school days. For some reason, we never forgot this word or what it means. Why? Because for a long time, we have learned that the single most important thing for every living being's existence is oxygen, which is created by plants. And that's it. We took it as the truth and moved on from there. But now scientists have discovered not just a new source of oxygen, but also a new process of oxygen creation. This changes everything we know about the creation of not just oxygen, but the origin of life itself. According to a recent study published in Nature Geoscience, a team of scientists have found oxygen being released from mineral deposits 4000 meters below the Pacific Ocean's clarion clipperton zone. In case you are unclear about this level of depth, it is almost half the size of Mount Everest. What makes all of this even more fascinating is that the team behind this discovery are unable to find the source of this oxygen. Instead, they have identified a chemical reaction that has the potential to produce oxygen through the splitting of water molecules. However, the energy source of this chemical reaction remains unknown. The co-author of the study, Andrew Sweetman, a seafloor ecologist at the Scottish Association of Marine Science in the UK, has another interesting story to share. It was in 2013 that Sweetman and his team noticed this strange phenomenon in the CCZ, which is between Hawaii and Mexico, and this entire zone is larger than the size of India. Now let's understand the process. The team used to release a module, or you can imagine a small robotic submarine called a lander, that would sink into the bottom of the ocean to perform certain experiments. One such experiment was to capture specific parts of the ocean floor, along with the seawater. Then the team would study the level of oxygen in this captured seawater over a period of many days. Now going back to our school days, we were taught that oxygen in the deep ocean was believed to primarily originate from the surface, where it was produced by photosynthetic organisms and then transported downwards by ocean currents. By this logic, our brain would tell us that the level of oxygen in the chamber would fall too, right? Well, even Andrew Sweetman thought the same. But the oxygen levels of this seawater continued to get higher and richer. And Sweetman thought this was the result of a faulty sensor. But many years later, in 2021 and 2022, when the same phenomenon continued to happen, Sweetman knew it wasn't a faulty sensor, but more like a fault in their understanding. It was a discovery he knew would totally change how we look at the origins of oxygen and life, not just on Earth, but on other planets too. As a seafloor ecologist, Sweetman had surveyed many oceans and seafloors. But then what made this area different was the presence of a mineral called polymetallic nodules. The moment he was sure that the oxygen reading was not a result of a faulty sensor, the team tried to recreate the conditions of a seafloor in a laboratory on the ship, using samples collected from this area, including the polymetallic nodules that I just told you about. And not surprisingly, the samples in the ship laboratory were able to create oxygen at least until a certain point. After that, the oxygen production stopped. According to Sweetman, it was probably because the energy behind the splitting of water molecules eventually got depleted. Now, this discovery is a major game changer because it challenges the age-old belief that photosynthesis was the only way oxygen was produced on Earth. Basically, what it means is that if oxygen was produced not just by photosynthesis, but also by a hidden unknown source, then maybe our understanding of how the first forms of life were formed would need to be rewritten too. Now, this new finding raises a bunch of questions about how life began on Earth. Was dark oxygen the secret sauce that gave early life the energy it needed to kickstart? Did life actually originate in the deep sea, where dark oxygen was readily available, instead of on the surface where sunlight is abundant? These are just some of the mind-bending questions that this discovery has opened up. Sweetman and his team's discovery of dark oxygen is a major breakthrough in our understanding of the origins of life on Earth. It opens up a whole new realm of possibilities for how life may have begun and evolved. As we continue to explore the depths of our oceans, we may uncover even more secrets about the origins of our life on our planet. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching it.